Okay, aloha everyone and welcome to Heart to Spirit Connections with Karina and uh, it is August, the month of August, can you believe that? <clears throat> what an incredible month of transformation we had last month. Um, I don't need to tell you all the things going on in the world, but in your own life, think about where how far you've come to get back to this webinar again this month. <laughs> <laughs> welcome, welcome to everyone watching live and to everybody that's coming in on the replay. This is the Heart to Spirit Connections webinar, <clears throat> and we're here monthly to expand our heart's connection with spiritual guidance and to feel the balance of healing on all four bodies, physical, emotional, mental, and spiritual. Together, we're discovering new levels of self-love and using the tools of Lemurian conscious creation, including signature cell healing and the 10 principles of consciously creating brought forth through my mentors, Kahu Fred Sterling and Master Guide Kirill. And our topic today, <clears throat> excuse me, is signature cell healing. You'll know what to do. And I want to begin just with a centering prayer. So everybody just get comfortable where you are and start taking some of those nice deep breaths and breathe in through your nose, lock the breath and send it out through your mouth. And as you breathe in, imagine golden particles above your crown chakra and just invite them in through the crown chakra, coming down into your heart space and as you exhale, start to expand the light out from your heart and just keep breathing. As I call upon the creator's light, the Christ light, the goddess weave of love, master guide Kiro, master Kahu Fred, master Elion and all the beautiful guardians of our great shift. We call upon the angels and the guides and the higher selves of everyone here on the program this morning and those that are coming in later on the recording to gather now in love and to find within our hearts the pathway forward of love and self-healing. So we're so humbly grateful this day for signature cell healing and all the beautiful energies of love that we are guided to through the guidance of Master Guide Kirill and Master Kyle Fred. We know that the Lemurian wisdom is so important for us now in our great shift. And we're so humbly grateful to be together, healing ourselves and aging our souls. And we offer this prayer from our hearts in love. Amen. <clears throat> okay, so this is a nice centering prayer. And I wanted to let you know that um, you can ask your questions anytime. Um, you can put them in the chat. Uh, thank you, Mahina Ku, for your welcome to everyone. And happy August. Yes. And um, you can learn a little bit more about the breathing and about the five breath self-healing meditation at signaturecellhealing.com, or you can find a link to it on karinanielsen.com. And so... Uh, you can raise your hand if you want to ask a question. I want to start, <clears throat> sorry, <clears throat> with a Lemurian prophecy card. So I got my cards right, right over here in the box. And these cards, is something that Master Guide Kiro brought forth for us and, and uh, Kahu Fred uh, illuminated them. And he taught a number of us how to use the Lemurian prophecy cards. There is um, mention of it in um, this um, Lemurian Legacy book, Kirill Lemurian Legacy for the Great Shift. That's the aqua colored book. Uh, have that? I don't have that here right now, but it, that's mentioned in there. And so I also do Lemurian prophecy card readings, or you can learn how to do it yourself. <laughs> Excuse me. But first of all, I've shuffled the cards five times because five in the Lemurian numerology is a number for love. And 
the Lemurian, <clears throat> the Lemurian numerology uh, permeates these cards. It's just a regular card deck, but there are four suits to the cards, right? And so the, the diamonds are the physical body, the hearts are the emotional body, the clubs are the mental body, and the spades are the spiritual body. So we're going to pull a card now for this particular webinar. So everybody, please send your light into the cards all the way here to Kailua. Wow, <laughs> that was really cool. There's just like this loud appearance of everyone's energy so i'm going to cut the cards and we'll pull this oh this is so wonderful okay here's the card for today and this is a card that has always been known the 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 um for your benefit the the king of spades has always been known as the Kiro card so we know that Master Guy Kiro has sent his energy into this beautiful webinar with us today. And I'm so very grateful always to have Master Kiro with us. So the spades is the spiritual, right? And the king, um, nor, you know, if in a reading or if you find it, of course, you always know that's, that's Master Kiro when you pull that card and you're going to get guidance from Master Kiro. Um, but the king is about our, our focus forward our direction and our focus and our passion to continue to do the healing journey. So thank you. <clears throat> Stop it. Master Kiro for being with us. And here is the, the card right over here. Now, the Lemurian numerology is a really important part of signature cell healing and about everything we do uh, that I do as um, in Karina Nielsen, uh, karinanielsen.com or Signature Cell Healing. So in Signature Cell Healing, the Lemurian numerology is woven throughout. So think about the Lemurian numerology now that we went from the month of July, which was the seven month, and Master Kiro called it the seven month of transformation to the eight month of infinity balance and weaving two realities together. And it's also the number for channeling. There's so much meaning in the, in the number eight and I just love it. Uh, I don't know if we have any number eights here. I know Mahina Kusa seven, I'm a five. So you can figure your Lemurian life path number by adding together your day, month, and year, and then adding them all together and bringing it to one digit. So there you have your Lemurian life path number, and you can learn a lot about what, what is, why are you here? You know, what are you here to experience and learn? <laughs> I'm going to take some water here. Excuse me. And I'll take a breath. So the month of transformation, before we get into the number eight, <clears throat> please, please let me know if you'd like to share, how was your month of transformation before I start telling you about everything that happened in mine? But I'm, you know, it was a really powerful month and we saw it playing out on the world stage in, in many ways, a sudden changes, transformation of certain, you know, certain things. For me, there were certain steps that I took and they, they seemed to be small steps, but they shifted uh, my my day-to-day -day life by changing just a couple of things. It shifted everything. And I feel uh, some of you have been, you know, following my healing journey uh, with my legs and my uh, mobility. And um, that's just for me is healing a whole bunch of past lives. And I felt like just within the last week or so, I really came to a new level of healing. And I'm so grateful, first of all, to Signature Cell Healing, which keeps me, me going and focused on self-healing. And that's really what Signature Cell Healing is all about, and that's something that Kahu Fred Sterling uh, 
came to a focus about um, in the latter part of his life as he refocused signature cell healing to be self-healing first, healing the self first. So if you look, this is the signature cell healing book. And when you register for the first steps of signature cell healing, which is starting this month uh, online, you receive the ebook for this and several, a couple of videos and um, materials that will help you uh, understand the self-healing power of signature cell healing. Master Guide Curel in that book says, which is really interesting, I came across it recently and <clears throat> I just thought it was a very beautiful way of reminding us about self-healing. He said, no matter whom you think you are here to heal, it is seriously first about your own healing. I'm not speaking just about healing a cancerous tumor or an age old rickety knee. That's for, for me, that one. Healing is also the moment you decide that you can have the relationship that you want to have. It can begin the moment that you move past all that you went through as a young child, or when you decide to release all the anguish of feeling trapped by a certain set of circumstances and live in the very presence of who you are in the now. The moment you decide you cannot be held back, the moment you recognize that everything is potential and every potential is yours for the thinking, then you will begin your own healing journey. And I just think that's such a powerful statement from Master Guide Carol, and it's a little bit close to what I was experiencing in this past month of July, just change after change after change. And fortunately, I feel like I met it without fear which is what happens when change happens, the fear will come up, right? And, and we'll want to control it or we'll want to um, do something to, to channel it. Um, but I felt like for me personally, I could be present with the changes and just see where they were leading me. And um, I just felt that was a really powerful month for me personally. Anybody else have a very... Powerful month of transition. Uh, transformation ongoing, Wendy. <laughs> I agree. I agree. It's not something that's confined to one month. <laughs> Certainly not. Um, <clears throat> but um, so, Wendy, you're, you're um, how do you deal? Let me ask Wendy because Wendy's such a, a, a wise spirit. Um, how, how do you deal with that, with those transitions when they're ongoing? I go to you for healing, Karina. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. I Thank you. Healing in the middle of the night. And I say, God help me and all the angels and guardians. And I do signature cell healing. And I talk to my good friends like Mary Faith. And, <laughs> and I think about unity people like Gloria and, you know, try to stay aligned with those principles of what you said uh, last meeting. Um, a couple of things I really like, but you know, when you talk about, you know, wh what we fear, we totally create. So I've worked a lot on my fear and um, because things are gonna change forever. That's just what life is here on earth. It's constant change. So as somehow being, stable or in an equilibrium regard regardless of the change and i i think everyone kind of knows that but it's doing it so i use my tools virtual tools to stay grounded and walking just everything wow so. that's so powerful wendy because you, you, there's so much that you said right there that that um that i'd like to comment on but first the that idea of you know we think we're in control, right? <laughs> when the changes come, we want to, we want, we have this feeling of a loss of control. Um, and, and so the paradox is we, when we let go, 
we become in control because the fear is gone and we come into love. And in, in the higher picture of it, we, we planned all this out in our blueprint anyway, right? This is nothing random about our lives. This is, a, this is us living through our blueprint, our life plans, and we can do it in love or we can do it in fear. And I know that when, when this stuff came up for me, maybe two, three years ago, this is just another level of my blueprint that I'm healing certain parts of my physical body. Um, and, and when I take the fear out of it, I feel like I'm able to um, find the steps that I need to keep going forward. Right. If I'm in fear, I'm I'm going to block that. So what you also said, I love, is that you have the tools of spiritual wisdom to address these things. And I, I want to bring in meditation here because that's the number eight principle in the 10 principles of consciously creating. So that's a big one for this month as we meditate and we'll do a meditation a little bit later but as we do that that um, meditation to bring in the spiritual guidance of our higher selves our guides our angels master guide kiro master kahu fred sterling who are still very present with all the signature cell healers everyone who is a part of what we call the beauty which is a honolulu church of light the Kahu and Cure Wisdom and Signature Cell Healing. Everyone within the light of the beauty who's ever picked up a book by Kahu Fred, who's ever come onto a webcast or had a reading or been in presence, um, they're with you and guiding you when you open in your meditation. Um, automatic writing becomes really important now too if you're journaling or you do your meditation and then you start to um, just ask a question and write out the answer you have to do this right hand left hand thing just write what you hear a word a sentence maybe even draw a picture of what you saw just Open yourself to the spiritual guidance. And that's a really important part of what our Heart to Spirit Connections webinar is all about. So I've told you about the Lemurian prophecy cards. Anybody can do that. Everybody can do meditation and everybody can follow it with automatic writing. And there you are opening avenues to receive your own guidance. And uh, I know these are some of the things that you're talking about, Wendy, with, with, um, tuning in and also getting your signature cell healing sessions, which folks, yes, I get mine too. And thank you, Mahina Ku. She's my, my healing partner. Uh, thank you so much. And uh, I think it's just really important that we keep ourselves tuned up uh, with, with signature cell healing. So the basic premise in signature cell healing then is that the human experience involves a four body system, physical, emotional, mental, and spiritual. And it is about a continual balancing of those four bodies. And a long time ago, Master Guide Kuro and Kahu called this Denje. And the Denje is the Lemurian word for the four body balance. And this is what the Lemurians were experts in. In fact, they evolved from the third dimension, like what we're, we've been experiencing into the fourth, fifth dimension and some even six dimensional focus. And then it started over again and here we are, right? So we're reliving our Lemurian experience right here and now. And it helps to have that higher perspective, I think sometimes to remember that because, um, I mean, personally, I can get really immersed in what's going on in, in my day-to-day -day world. But what I, what I need to do and what I do every day is take time three times a day for meditation, for this fibrous self-healing meditation and a, and a meditation sometimes shorter or longer, but a meditation into the sanctuary of inspiration, which we learn in the first steps 
uh, to Signature Cell Healing Workshop. The Sanctuary of Inspiration is a space that you can create for yourself to go into and then go wherever you like, but at least you're focused in to a certain space. And that helps me because I'm one of those people that has a really busy mind, you know, and I need to focus. And that's where we can get our answers in meditation, right? And also with each other, I think we're helping each other a lot um, all the time as we as we connect, right? So, I mean, our topic for today is signature cell healing, you'll know what to do. And I chose that title because I realized that when I was maybe a two to three years ago, walking down the street and all of a sudden it felt like my whole, my whole body was gonna give way and I was gonna end up on the ground, but I made it back home. Um, and I began to discover the layers of what was going on for me and how and how to heal it. And I'm still doing that by making changes in my life as guided by signature cell healing. But I know what to do because I know signature cell healing. And that's what I would that's my passion and that's what I want to share with with uh with all of you and with those who are ready to understand signature cell healing um, on a deeper level. Right. So when things come at us uh, in what seems like a chaotic way, and let me tell you, if you're not stopping, maybe middays these days or in the evening or, you know, right after you get up, you can feel really chaotic and um, you can be drawn this way and that. And the beautiful thing about having a meditation space or a time when you you do your own self-healing is it doesn't feel so chaotic anymore and you'll know what to do to make it less chaotic and how to handle it right so I'm going to take a breath does that bring up any questions because I've said a lot and you might have heard something that's like, whoa, what do you mean by that? <laughs> <You know? laughs> What's that about? Um, please go ahead and ask a question if you have it. Um, I want to, let me see what, oh, um, also in our online workshop, it's starting on the 24th of August, by the way, and there's four um online sessions that are about two hours, a little bit longer than two hour, two fifteen, two hours and 15 minutes each time. And um, we talk about different things. So one thing we're gonna be talking about are splinters. And I left this book, let's see if I can do this right, right up there. You see that book up there? Let's make this bigger. But there is Guide to the Unseen Self. And I know that Mary Faith and Wendy have been reading chapter seven. <laughs> there it is. It's really an awesome book. And this is the second book I think I edited with, with the ladies at Lightways. And um, this one is particularly wonderful, I think, because it has live transcripts of live sessions with Master Guide Carol. And the one that we're talking about, the seventh chapter, is... Um, your shifting body, there's no turning back. I think that's the title of the, of the, of this. Uh, yeah, something like that. Um, it talks about in there, somewhere in there is about splinters. I know because I was understanding them when I was editing that chapter. <laughs> I was just getting a ton of splinters all the time and didn't know what was going on. And for me, what was going on, and, and everybody gets them, it's not just me. Uh, I didn't have a spiritual journey until I was about 40. And so I had a lot of catching up to do. And I looked around at all the people at the Honolulu Church of Light, and I thought, oh, my God, everybody is so far advanced. I don't know anything. They know all about the galactics. They know about healing. I don't, I, what is all of this? And so my higher self helped me out. And my higher self started sending in these splinters. And these splinters are parts of the higher self 
that are coming into your physical body to help you raise your frequency of love and understanding of your journey. And they'll come in something like a headache, or it could be a body ache somewhere, or it could, you, maybe it's a cold, or you feel like you're getting a fever or something like that. The, the, the short-term solution is meditate, 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 <laughs> and also to just go lie down and take care of yourself and do what you know you need to do to get, to get that splinter integrated. So eventually I got kind of sensitive to these splinters because I was getting them a lot. And um, you can read about them in that book in chapter seven, but it really is a sign that your higher self wants to move you forward. So if you're feeling that now, and it's interesting because we're coming through this month of transformation, right? The seven month and we're going into the eight. So let's talk a little bit about this eight energy. And Mahina Ku put in the chat, uh, eight is infinity standing at attention. And I like that because it is about the infinity, that constant flowing motion. And what we can do, if you think about that, if you're standing in the center of the eight, imagine that the energy is coming to you and you're sending it out from you. And how you send it out in that top loop is how it's going to come back to you in the center. So be very careful this month about how you send out an email, a letter, a phone call, a message, a text message, oh, a text message, or even how you, um, you know, how you you deal with anything in your life. How you deal with it is how it's going to come back to you. So mark my words, <laughs> it always happens when we're in an eight energy and we are in an eight energy for the whole year because we're in 2024, right? Um, the eight is the time when we prepare for the nine. Oh, I made a poem. Okay, so the eight is a time when we prepare for the nine and the nine is 2025. And the nine is the is the year of completions and new beginnings. So you think that we got stuff going on right now, just wait till next year, because next year is where we see the new beginnings, right? We're gonna get rid of the old stuff and then get into the new beginnings, whatever that means for you in your personal life or you know, in the world in general, it's really not that important what it is in the world in general is more important what it is for us in our personal lives, because that is the focus of signature cell healing is healing the self and aging our soul. So when we move in that eight energy this month and then through to the end of the year, we want to be sure that we're centered and balanced in the center of that eight because there's a motion if we look, get back to Mahina Ku's expression of um, the eight standing at attention, imagine in your meditations that you're going up and drawing the energy from your higher self, which is, there's really no separation, right? But your higher self is not physical. So we're up into that energy and drawing down the guidance into your heart and then sending it into the lower loop into your life on earth. So what a beautiful uh, possibility this month it is to weave two dimensions together. So the dimension of spirit with the dimension we're living in on planet Earth and just have that constant flow of guidance happening for you and keep in that in the center and keep focused and balanced. Isn't that an awesome uh, possibility? <laughs> for this eight month. And then when we go into the nine, which is September or next year into 2025, we'll be centered in, uh, in a balanced state so we can have a really good completion and new beginnings. And you'll be set to go forward in balance. So the eight becomes very important. And I, I received that guidance from Master Guide Kiro when I was in an eight year. So if we 
if you take the two numbers of your age and you add them together, you're going to get one of the digits of the Lemurian numerology. So at that particular time, I was in an eight year and he advised me or he guided me that that eight, that was the year to stay centered and balanced and not you know, fly off in anger or fear or anything like that. It just stay balanced in the center. And then I would have a very good nine year, the next birth year that I had. So let me tell you, the Lemurian numerology is something really, really special because after I learned it in, in my 40s, I never thought about, you know, getting old or I'm, you know, I'm not old enough or I'm old, too old or anything like that. I never think about age that way because I only think about the numerology, <laughs> which is, sounds like a cop out, right? But I'm sorry, I don't uh, buy into the, you know, you're getting older. For me, it's about healing past lives <laughs> and, and trying to stay in balance and get, get through my blueprint here, folks. So um, I wonder if that brings up anything for you as well, because this, this eight energy is just so powerful. So we're, we're also talking about channeling this, this month. So you're, you're open, you know, through the automatic writing or even verbal channel, channeling, the energy is primed for that in August. So any way that you feel like, oh yeah, I'd like to connect with my guidance in a in a deeper way it's open this this month it's the eight energy that draws that in now the eight itself it can be wobbly right if you are not centered in in the middle of that eight you can have too much of the spiritual or too much of the physical and the key is to stay balanced in the center because if we're too far out with the spiritual realm, we're not going to be doing our journey on earth. <laughs> we're going to be in avoidance of what's happening. On the other hand, if we're too much in the physical world, we're lacking the spiritual vision to help us to get through what's happening for us right now. So what a, what a great month to remember to be in balance. And I offer to you the Signature Cell Healing, First Steps to Signature Cell Healing online workshop to help you stay in balance and to uh, find the tools and techniques you need to, um, to do that. Um, there's, it, um, there's a special offer for graduates, uh, which is a special discount offer. So if you've done the workshop before, you can repeat it for um, a special discount price. Or, and then also for anybody who's registering, you get complimentary with your um, registration, the um, self-healing resource bundle of eBooks, videos, and MP3s. And that's included in your registration. You also get a buy one, get one book, print book offer for the Kiro books. So any of the print books, buy one, get one, and also 50% off on the 10 principles um, audio series. So you get the 10 recordings at 50% off. What a deal. <laughs> anyway, you also get the, you know, the four sessions plus the recordings are available afterwards. So if you can't make one, so all right, thumbs up <laughs> from Unico. I love it. Yeah, and it's a lot of fun. And what what's happened over the years now since we've been doing this first steps is we have a really wonderful group of graduates that come together every third Saturday um, for a review session. And some of you are on here now, and I'm grateful. Um, that third Saturday has just been a wonderful thing. So I create a, a lesson every every month and we go through it and we, we uh, honor everybody's questions. And it's a really nice perk for having done the, the workshop. So I'm looking forward to seeing you folks in that workshop and let me know if you need any help with the registration. So 
if you have no questions now, what I'd like to do is to go into meditation and a special meditation for this month of August, the eighth month. So everybody get comfortable now. And just start breathing. And if you know the five breath self-healing meditation, just draw in the golden particles through your crown chakra and let them come into the pineal gland where you have the blueprint in the signature cell. And they change to white light. And just continue to draw in the inhale down into your heart. And when you exhale, instead of having it come out your palms, let it come out of your heart. And with every exhale, expand your light. And just feel yourself in this very beautiful centered space. Now begin to see this, this figure eight and send the energy on the figure eight up into your higher self. And then draw that energy from your higher self down into your heart and just center there for a moment. And take a nice deep breath again and just feel yourself centered in your heart. Breathe deeply. Now send that light from your heart down into Mother Earth and connect with her heart light in the very core light of who she is. And then draw Mother Earth's heart energy back up into your heart and create a union of love in your journey. And now send the light back up into your higher self and gather more of your higher self's awareness And feel now as you draw your higher self's energy back into your heart and you have the energy of Mother Earth there now. Center in your heart and just feel the peace, feel the harmony, feel the love for you and for your journey. And keep breathing as you feel Mother Earth's love for you and her gratitude for you and your journey on Earth at this time. Feel the goddess light. And if you know your goddess color, illuminate that goddess light color from your heart and expand it out. <sighs> Continue to feel the peace and the balance and expand it out again to into the room where you are and now into your home and wherever you are, the town and into your part of the world. Just feel yourself expanding and in love expanding your love out all around you. Take in all of the people that you know, all of your family, all of the people in your town, and just feel the presence of Mother Earth and your higher self guiding you. And take a moment now and just rise up a little bit above where you are and look down on your journey and just feel the love for yourself 
and your journey on earth. Take a deep breath. Honor yourself in love for the beautiful journey that you're doing on Mother Earth at this time of the great shift. Feel the love for who you are, just as you are this very moment. Now breathe and gently come back into your body and feel your feet on the on the floor, on the ground. And just feel yourself gradually coming back into our gathering. And continue to honor yourself. Feel the love. Feel the gratitude for our time here now on earth. And when you're ready, you can come back into our gathering. And remember that we do our monthly global healing meditation for mother earth this month, it'll be on August 15th, which is a Thursday. And you can do that from wherever you are at 9 p.m. your local time. There's information about that on um, the KarinaNielsen.com website. Would love uh, for your participation. Uh, for all the light workers and healers around the planet are coming together at 9 p.m. their local time and creating a weave of light that focuses on Diamond Head in Honolulu. And it's just a beautiful experience every month that we do. Um, I'd also like to invite you to join us tomorrow at the Honolulu Church of Light for Sunday healing service at 9 a.m. Hawaii, uh, same time as this webinar. So just go to HonoluluChurchOfLight.com and you'll find the um, live streaming link there. Uh, now that you're back, do we have any shares from our meditation? No pressure. <laughs> if you'd like. Um, okay, I hope it was helpful to you. I know I enjoyed it very much. <laughs> um, I want to, oh, go ahead, Wendy. Thank you. That was really beautiful meditation, Karina, for me. And um, I really experienced loving myself. And that's not always easy for me, actually. I think it's never easy for me. So I appreciated that because it was such a full loving experience. And I'm forever beating myself up. But getting better. <laughs> tired of being bruised so <laughs> <laughs> yeah every now and then we we want to give ourselves a break I think you but know when you, this... that enabled me to do that and the earth that I was all beautiful thank you oh I'm so glad you liked it and you know um that's not that's a for me that's another um th something that I work with of you know Oh, we should have done it that way or, you know, and, and I realized, well, you know, the past is only how I remember it to be and the future has not been created yet. So I think it's better for me to focus in the present. <laughs> I can probably make the most difference right here, right now, and then consciously create what I'd like to experience in the future. But that's always a journey to um, continually learn new levels of self-love. And that's why I'm so glad that the signature cell healing has that focus of, you know, ways that we can learn to heal ourselves and, and, um, and love ourselves just a little bit more all the time. Yeah. So I appreciate that, Wendy. Thank you so much for that. Um, I look forward to seeing you in the online workshop starting on the 24th of August. We won't have a, um, uh, Heart to Spirit Connections webinar next month because we'll be in the workshop. 
it'll go, uh, one of the sessions will be on that Saturday. And so I'll see you the next time in November. And we will have come through, is that is that correct? So wait, no. Next one. Oh, no, I'll see you in October for the next Heart to Spirit Connections webinar, right? Um, yeah. And I, I hope you have a wonderful month of infinity, standing at attention <laughs> and balance, balance, balance is always wonderful. And, you know, it's such a, um, a dicey time as we move in the United States into, uh, you know, a dicey time. And um, uh, all around the world, everybody's got their version of a dicey time. My husband's from another country, right? So there's dicey times all over the world. It's what we want to make them. You know, if we want to make them dicey and we want to be um, in fear, we can go there because there's a whole lot of people that want to go there with us. <laughs> On the other hand, if we want to stay in love and in our heart to spirit connection, uh, we can also be there too. And it's a beautiful place to be. So I look forward to seeing you again soon in the workshop. Love you all very much. And thanks for being here.